Two volunteer fire districts in Walton County will remain in operation this year. The state was prepared to vote on dissolving the Liberty and Argyle districts in the state legislative session. Snooze 13's Kimber Collins tells us the vote never happened, leaving the county and the fire districts under normal operations. We're, we're open. Liberty Volunteer Fire District said they and the Argyle Volunteer Fire District are free and clear to operate this year. In December, we reported that the state legislature would vote this session to shut them down or let them operate for another five years. We haven't heard from them. I'm not even sure that they looked at our response, but uh, it, uh, they did not vote at that meeting. And then it was never brought up again when the, um, the House was back in session. The state's research arm, OPAGA, filed a report last summer showing Argyle and Liberty to be violating multiple state codes. Argyle approached the state willing to get into compliance. Liberty contested the report, saying most of the claims were inaccurate. Some of it was just not factual. Like they had said that uh, members of the board were not bonded. I called the insurance company and I got proof that we'd been bonded for 23 years. Um, there was a lot of things that they, they just, I don't know if they asked the wrong people or they just were provided in accurate information, but uh, that's been resolved. Tuesday, Walton County Commissioners approved $125,000 in operational funding for each district. The county is also debating how to spend another $50,000 from a Florida Power and Light settlement earmarked for fire services. The largest need would be to install a water well in an underserved area of the county. The other option is to split the money between Liberty and Walton County Fire Rescue for equipment and maintenance needs. In Walton County, Kimber Collins, News 13, Panhandle Strong. The commissioners directed fire services to bring back bids to build the well for consideration in the future meeting. We reached out to the Argyle Volunteer Fire District multiple times today for an official update. They have not returned our calls.